Hello there, Paul here, and I'm excited to share with you the latest update. We have two sky replacement in Photoshop because that's what I want to do with this surfing image. Let's dive on in. Pun intended, go to edit sky replacement, right? It'll use uh, the default or your last selected sky. We can get into some spectacular ones down here, right? What if we want to go beyond this? Well, we can right over here, import skies from images. Go ahead and select, rather than just one image at a time, you can select up to what, 5,000 if you wanted to uh, open up as many, or load up as many as you want. I'm only gonna do 18 here. Stays with Photoshop, so it will uh, enable me to apply it to a different photo later on if I want to. And sure enough, you can see them pop in right down here. And again, I can pick any one of these fun ones. Hey, why not this UFO one just for fun? Since it is my own image, you're saying, hey, what if I don't have my own image? Well, don't worry about it. You can go to the flyout menu, get more skies. So get some more skies from our lovely contributors. Uh, as I've actually already downloaded these, but I wanna show you this page because there's plenty of amazing ones. We have sunsets, spectacular night skies, blue skies, uh, storms, right? So these are sky presets, okay? So what do we do with these sky presets? All we need to do is just go right up here. And again, rather than loading up an image, we'll just go from sky presets like so. And we can go ahead and load up that storms pack, for instance. And you can see all these wonderful images. You can get as dramatic as you want, as you can see, uh, using these lovely presets that were made by our fine contributors. Uh, a little stormy for me, but again, this is just a preview to all the amazing skies that you could see and apply. This is the one I think I'll go with. Try it out for yourself today. And thanks so much for watching.